Now, this is a very common for the PC and the laptop user where they accidentally delete some of their file permanently or lose their data due to any problem like drive, get crashed or formatted. But getting these kind of data is so important that they need these kind of data at any how at any cost. So in this video, I will be sharing an amazing tool that will be helping you to recover the permanently deleted file for your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you need to come to this website. The link will be in the description. That is the 4DDIG Windows Data Recovery Free Software. And you can recover your data up to 2 GB for absolutely free. And there are even many more things that you can do. Like you can recover the deleted file, uh, empty recycle bin from accidentally formatted, raw file system, corrupted memory card, lost partition recovery, hard drive recovery, and the crash computer like blue screen or any other problem. So if you stuck on any kind of situation, then you can easily recover your data. Okay, so first you will have to click on free download and it's a small file. So it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file. Click on yes, click on install and the installation will be started. And again, it won't take much time. So kindly wait until it's all been done. And once the installation will be completed, it says use now. So click on it. And the 4DDIG software will now be coming up. So kindly wait. Okay. And this kind of dashboard of the Tenorshare 4DDIG will be up. So here you can see different kind of options. Like it detect all kind of your hard drive, your SSD. And even it shows you some common location. And from the left hand side, you can see you can fix the hard drive. You can recover the data from your uh, pen drive, your USB drive, crash PC, enhance video recovery. You can recover your photos and even you can repair your videos. So there comes a time when your photos and videos get corrupted or uh, it's not opening up and it's really important for you. So instead of recovering the data, you can easily fix that corrupted photos or corrupted videos. Okay, so for the demonstration purpose, what we will do, we will close it. And now here on the desktop, I will be creating a folder. I will be deleting it and then I will show you that how exactly it will work. So I will make a right click here, hover up to new, choose folder and I will rename it as important data. And now inside this folder, I will even create some another file like I will download something from the internet. So let's go to a website pexels and I will download a video here. Okay, so let's go with this one. I will click on free download and once it get downloaded, I will drag this video into this folder that we have created. Great. Now I can close it. Okay, so here we have the folder now by the name important data and inside it we have a video here. So what I will do now, I will permanently delete this. So I will make a right click on it and click on delete or either I can use the shift and delete key all together to permanently delete it. Now once I have deleted from the desktop, I will go to the recycle bin and delete the folder from here as well. Are you sure you want to permanently delete? Yes, I want to delete. Okay, so now our file, our folder has been permanently deleted from our device. So again, I will bring up the Tenorshare 4DDIG. And the 4DDIG dashboard will be up. Now here, according to the location of your data, you have to choose one option. If you have data in your external drive, then you can choose the external drive. If you have your data on the desktop, you can choose the desktop. If you want to recover from the recycle bin, you can choose the recycle bin option. Or even you can choose any folder from where you have lost any kind of data. So we have deleted the data from the recycle bin. So what I can do, I can choose either recycle bin or even I can choose the desktop because that folder was on my desktop. So let's go with the recycle bin. And now it asks me uh, what kind of file you want to recover. Is it a photo, video, document, audio or other? So if you are trying to recover any document, then you can keep this option only to document. But if it's a video, you can only choose the video. But if it's a mixed data, then you can keep all these options selected and click on scan selected file types. And the scanning will be started. Now, depending how much data has been deleted from that location, it may take some time. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. So on my end, you can see it was done very quickly. So I will click on OK. And now here, do not get confused. You might be thinking that I don't find my a folder by the name important data. So, okay, you have to do uh, some work around here. All right. First, you have to click on the users. Then choose your user account. Now choose the location from where you have deleted the data. Like I deleted from the desktop. 
So I will make a double click on the desktop. And here we have, so you can see the important data, the folder that we deleted, it's been displayed here. So I will simply select it and click on recover. It asked me select a location to save the recovered data. So you can choose the different location like you can save to USB, you can save to again to your desktop or any other location in the Windows C drive or any other folder that you want to select. I will go with the desktop only and click on save now. Click on save anyway. And now if I close everything, so here you can see we have the folder here. It shows me by different name for DDIG but if I double click on it, again if I go to the C drive, users, user account, desktop. So here we have the data. Alright and if I make a double click on it, so you will find the video inside it that we just created. Alright so let me change the thumbnail view, a large icon and here we have, even if I play the video, so you can see it's working absolutely perfect. So what I can do now, I can go back and just make a right click on it, choose copy or I can cut it and again save it to my desktop. And here we go. So now you can see that we easily got our deleted data that was been permanently deleted even from the desktop. This is how exactly it works and I already tested this on a different machine guys. So make sure that you search your files properly by going to the user account and looking for the location. And in case if you have any problem, then you can let me know in the comment section. Now, as I said, uh, in the free version, you can uh, recover up to 2 gigabyte. But if you have any data more than that, then you can go with their paid plan. You can check the pricing. At least you would be able to recover your data using this software. And that's all guys for today. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.